the biggest addition to Waveform 13 is something they've been talking about adding for quite a few years now, and it's finally here. And it comes part of Waveform Pro, but if you're a Waveform free user, it's something that you can add to it. Plus there's a new instrument and more, and we're going to check it all out right now to see if Waveform 13 is worth the upgrade to you. You've probably already heard about the clip launcher feature, which is pretty much the biggest addition to Waveform 13. And this gives us a workflow that's similar to Ableton Live, but at a fraction of the price. So let's have a quick look at the clip launcher. To load it up, you can just go up to the eyeball up here, click on that and open up your mixer. Or normally that's how you would open up the mixer, but now you can see it's the mixer and it's also the clip launcher. So these are where you can load your clips and it's very easy to do that. We'll just do it from the browser over here. And let's see, we've got some bass hits. We'll click on that. Sure, we'll load that onto our track one, clip one right here. And now we'll go to chord, load that onto track two like that. And we'll load a drum hit. Sounds good. We'll put that one right there. Uh, we'll put something else right here. Snares, sure. And let's have some, yeah, that right there. So of course we can just click on whatever clip we want and it's going to start to play it. We can also fire the entire scene by clicking over here. So that fires everything that's in this row it will play with scene one. So you want to make sure if everything's going to go together, maybe it's a chorus, a verse or whatever, you can have everything all in this row. And of course we can add even more tracks here. This is just the default eight tracks that have loaded up, but you can keep adding more and more, however many you want. And of course, if you have one of those fancy pad controllers, you can link that to here. And actually Traction have already pre-mapped some of the more popular ones like the Akai APCs and the Novation launch pads. So if you're wanting to jump right in with all of those pads and have them pre-mapped to your clip launcher and to control Traction waveform, They've already done that pre-mapping for you, and I'm pretty sure they'll add even more pre-mapped controllers in the future. And maybe some of the hardware manufacturers will start to pre-map things for Waveform as it's really grown over the last five years and deserves a lot more respect. So we'll have to see about that, but I'm sure Traction will work on some of the more popular controllers to have them pre-mapped. So it's very easy for you to just plug in and get to work. But this clip launcher feature, it is huge and it's not only going to be great for electronic music creators in the studio, but it can also be used for live performance as well. And not just from DJs. Yes, it's going to work great for DJs, but for rock and pop bands or whatever. If you wanna fire some backing vocals or backing tracks, you can easily do that from the clip launcher here. Or maybe there's some sort of sound effects that you wanna fire off in the middle of a song, at the beginning of a song, at the beginning of your concert, whatever it is. I've seen a lot of drummers now, they carry a little laptop on stage with them and they're in charge of firing all these different backing tracks and sounds. It's quite common nowadays, but you're going to be able to use Waveform to do that. So the clip launcher feature, it comes with Waveform 13 Pro. If you're a Waveform free user or you're just interested in Waveform free and you're only interested in adding the clip launcher feature, you can actually add it through an expansion. And the expansion for this, I think is around $50. So you can have that Ableton live workflow for 50 bucks and you don't have to pay for any of the other stuff that you may not ever use. And if you do find something that you might use, you can add that in an expansion later on. Now, another new thing in Waveform 13 is the look or the user interface. They've kind of given it a bit of an update. It has a more sleek look to it, but you're still going to be right at home with it if you've been using Waveform for quite some time. You're not going to be lost in this user interface. It's just kind of a more streamlined look. And of course you can change how this looks. You can easily go into here and you can see there's the color scheme and we can click on the light one if you prefer a light look, which is kind of like Ableton Live. 
or we can go to our color scheme here and you can see there's a bunch of presets in here. If you liked Waveform 12's look, don't worry. You can click on that and have it look similar to Waveform 12. Lots of different things in here. I'm just going to click on the default one and this is what it looks like right out of the box. Another cool thing about Waveform 13, if you're going to be upgrading from a previous version, is that it recognizes your settings from Waveform 12 or your previous version. So I wasn't stuck having to go in here and remap my MIDI keyboard and my MIDI controllers. All of that was already done in there for me. All of my projects showed up in there. There was no need to set things up like that. I could just get to work right away. So if you are a Waveform 12 or previous user, you're going to be right at home with Waveform 13 and you're going to hit the ground running and not have to worry about setting things up. Now, another thing about the looks of Waveform 13 is they've made it a little easier to see your automations, especially if you have a larger track, you can easily go in here and we're going to add a new automation track and then we'll just select a parameter for it, volume, and you can see it's the same color as our track that we've added the automation to which is going to make it a lot easier to recognize, okay, this automation's for that track. If this track down here was green, the automations for that one would be green. Just kind of one of those things that should have been there before, but it's there now, and I'm thankful that it is there. There's also a lot of stuff that they've updated under the hood, so it's things that we don't see, maybe some bug fixes. They've made it more responsive, especially in bigger projects. You're going to notice that it's a lot more responsive. Now let's check out that new instrument that they've added. So this is that new instrument. It actually comes with 150 wavetables, but of course you can drag and drop your own sounds onto the oscillators and create your very own unique instruments from this one, which is really cool. But let's just click in here and you can see some of the presets that we've got going on. I'll just click on infinity. We'll see what that's all about. <laughs> So these are your oscillators here or your wavetable oscillators right here. And we'll change something here. So yeah, we have a lot of different sounds right out of the box. So it's a pretty cool instrument. It comes with Waveform 13 Pro along with a bunch of other instruments that you get in there just making this a more complete digital audio workstation. So is it worth it to upgrade to Waveform 13 from whatever version you might be using? Or is it worth it to upgrade to Waveform Pro 13 from Waveform Free? Well, it all depends on you. If you have no use for the clip launcher feature and no use for this new instrument, and you're happy with the way Waveform is currently working for you, then really there's no need to upgrade. If you're happy with what you have, then keep what you have and continue on with it until you aren't. And then maybe you'll upgrade one day and you're going to discover just how nice and solid this newer version is or whatever newer version it's going to be when you decide to upgrade. But if you've been drooling for that clip launcher feature that they've been teasing us with for a while and you like this new instrument and you want to have that more responsive feel to waveform, then by all means, it's worth the upgrade. Lots of stuff going on under the hood to make this a more solid digital audio workstation for you. And if you're a waveform free user, then yeah, it's definitely worth it to upgrade to this one. It's free, so why not do it? But it also gives you all of those under the hood sort of upgrades that you get. And you're still going to have the unlimited tracks that Traction Waveform Free is known for. You can add your own instruments and effects in there, and you can actually add these free essential plugins, and then you're going to have everything that you need to make top quality music in Traction Waveform Free or Pro. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. For Audio Tech TV, I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.